Hey there, it's Pwn Call here with Renegade Forums, and today we're going to show you how to get CNC Renegade working for multiplayer through Steam. And it's very simple to do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do here is you're going to open up Steam and go to the store and where we're going to find the Command & Conquer Ultimate Collection. Um, it was on the home page in the featured for a little while. If you can't find it there, you can search for it in the search bar up here. And it's a very reasonable price of $10 uh, in the U.S. anyways, that's what it costs. Definitely worth the money with all the games that it has on there. It's got uh, the original Command & Conquer, Red Alert 1, 2. Um, Tiberian Sun, I believe, Generals, all sorts of good stuff on there, Renegade as well. So um, really awesome uh, that you can get it for such a cheap price here. So once you uh, purchase it, you're going to go to your library here and open up CNC Renegade. First thing you're going to want to do is install the game with the install button here. Um, the installer is not as cool as the original. If you ever installed Renegade by itself with the original installer, it would show like some of the models and three and you can spin them around while it was installing like the turret that they uh, it is nice that it installs much quicker though with these modern computers once you've installed the game before you hit that play button i know you really want to jump right into the game go to google type in tiberian technologies and check on the first link here um, it is tiberiantechnologies.org i'll also have a link for that in the description of this video you're going to go to the downloads click on the client installer and download the client installer for the Tiberian Technologies patch. What this does is it patches the game to the most current version that is a fan created patch. Your antivirus will most likely try to block this from happening, so make sure you allow it. Click the next, click the next. The installer will most likely not find the Steam version where it needs to download it and install it to, so you're gonna have to right click on Renegade in Steam, go to manage and browse local files. This will show you where it's installed on your computer and then you can click on here in the search bar to copy this over. I will also put what mine is in the description as well because it is most likely the same for most people. Then you're just going to paste that into the destination folder, hit next, continue if you want all these things installed as well. Go through the install of the scripts again, which updates it. You do not need to put in a serial when it asks you for one, it does not matter. Now you can head back to Steam and launch the game. Before you do though, I suggest you launch the Renegade config. And what this is, it's a little configurator for Renegade and you can change a lot of the different settings for the game. Um, things like resolution, graphics settings, um, the shadows that it uses, the graphics card that it uses. If you want a windowed or a borderless windowed mode, you can do that as well. Um, there's a lot of other settings. Some of these settings too are in the actual game itself, but I would suggest checking through them through here just because it does have a little bit um, more thorough version of what the settings are that you can do. And then you can change the expert mode for the graphics and things like that. And then again, once you do end up running the game here, you are most likely going to encounter some issues with the Tiberian Technologies patch and needing to allow it through Windows. Um, this screen here I did notice got a little bit funky when I was loading the game. It took a little bit for it to load and I did have to allow it for my um, Windows Defender. Once you get in the game here to get into internet, all you need to do is go to Multiplay Internet and then GameSpy is what Tiberian Technology set up to list all of the different uh, matches. In the settings here you can change your nickname if you so desire uh, for options and then this lists all the current servers for Renegade that you can join and that is all you need to do to get Renegade working for the Steam version of Renegade. Um, if you do have any questions or comments or things aren't working for you, you can post them down here. You can also post them on the W3D Hub forums is another good resource, or uh, MPF forums, or Ren Corner forums, which are some of the main servers, and also their Discord channels uh, for those three as well are very helpful, and I'll post links for those in the description as well.